Taurus will now be having a look to see um, what's coming up in terms of romance. So we will look at singles first and then couples. Taurus, 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 singles. Okay, a new chapter in love is opening up for a lot of you, and it could be with, you've got the temperance card, Sagittarius. Okay, two of cups is reversed, though. So temperance is about needing time or patience or finding the right opportunity. Now, for some of you, it's like a friend zone dynamic or someone that you were connected to um, in, in that friend zone way. So... Seeing that makes me think that there is someone here, potentially Taurus, that you've you might have had something with already, um, but it didn't go. It didn't turn out the way you had wanted it to, so it was um, it was reversed. It's been reversed here with the Two of Cups. So for some reason, your union or you're finding it hard to come together. Things have been delayed, maybe with the Temperance card. Um, I do like there's a new that, that there is an Ace connected to that because I think for singles, um, if if matters of love have been reversed, it could be that you might be if you've had some sort of fleeting connection with someone, you've given it some time, but nothing has come from it, Taurus. It could be that the universe, okay, this angel. Two of Cups, two people, twin flame, soulmate, um, is sending you that person fairly soon. So you might be ending something here. Maybe you're not uh, in a full-blown relationship. Okay, you might have shared some time with this person, but for some reason, um, it might have been that things haven't worked out for a reason. Things are reversed here. It could even be something to do with timing. And I sort of want to go back to what I said in the general. Not all is lost or something that you didn't think could happen can happen but it may require time Taurus the temperance card is having a lot of patience in the universe and trusting uh, you know trusting God trusting your spirit guides having having that having uh, placing that trust placing that trust um, out there or placing that trust that this can change. Um, and I do feel like for some of you, it is someone you've had some sort of connection with and they may be coming back. It may be like an opportunity to reconnect. But it could be an opportunity that it may be in, you don't necessarily take it. It's almost like the universe will push it for you. For example, you might bump into this person with no intention of like reconnecting. Maybe you lost touch on social media, but there might be something that happens here that connects you or forces the two of you back together somehow. Um, and it could even be through friends. Uh, bumping into mutual friends, um, having events together. So, maybe I mean, maybe that's what it could be. Maybe that's what's coming up with that Three of Cups. Three of Cups energy. Three of Cups can be like celebrations or celebrating love. But like I said, if you're ending something, you know, it almost looks like a phallic symbol here, quite a sexual symbol. So you may have a sexual encounter uh, or something very lustful, you know, very strong attraction, very strong spiritual link that draws you and this person together. So maybe this is what's drawing you in, drawing you close. drawing you together with this person somehow, but it could be someone coming out of the friend zone. Um, could also be an introduction of some kind coming up for some of you, so pay attention. Ace of Wands is, is new chapters, new opportunities. Could it be a new chapter to find happiness with someone else maybe? Could this be two different connections that are coming up around some of you? You have to be honest with yourself. Temperance card is straightforwardness. So you, may, you need to be straight about yourself. Um, this is also ha needing acceptance or having acceptance in a situation. Um, needing it to a point. Needing uh, acceptance, needing grace, needing to take things, some sort of direction here. You're potentially lacking direction in love, Taurus. Um and you need guidance. You may get that guidance. Angels are communicators. They're be benevolent. Um, but you may have a group of friends or someone that you trust. 
people that are going to support you or help you or, or maybe offer you very wise, wise words in matters of the heart. So pay attention, I guess, to what people, people are saying to you, what they're trying to uh, communicate to you. Remember, it's all about communication, I think, and that's very, very big for you. Or it could be someone coming in who isn't ready for a relationship and they're making you wait. Sort of putting you out there on the side like friend zones. Okay, couples. Okay, we've got the tower reversed. So... The drama or dramatic events, arguments, circumstances, etc., uh, that could be changing. That could be very much uh, shifting for you, Taurus, okay? Which is quite good, okay? The tower card reversed. It's like coming out of those moments, those surprises. There's there no more surprises in relationships or I guess this can often indicate like chaos, devastation, uncertainty, because they don't see the lightning coming. So seeing that makes me think, makes me think that you, you know, that's reversed here, which is good. Or it's like damage control, potentially reversing damage, reversing something that has happened because the resistance, this is resistance and anger. It can be accusations, trust issues. You know, it's a, it's a very, it's a very fire channeled energy. So seeing that, seeing that makes me think this is ending. He's sort of cornered or backed backed up in a corner here, Taurus. So I think this is ending in relationships or someone's backing off somehow. See how he's just very fierce and he's trying to deflect these ones. But it's, it's an energy of backing off a situation or backing off a topic or um, maybe backing off altogether, not being too aggressive. So somehow the aggression is alleviating, whether it's your aggression or your person's aggression, that could be leaving you. And maybe that is because there's no more tower moments to get aggressive or to get angry or, or flustered about. And suddenly that's taking a turn. Um, suddenly there's a, there's a shift here. There's a shift. There's a change. Indecision, maybe, but then you've got the King of Swords, so I like this. Um, if there's been a lot of back and forth about a situation, okay, Gemini can be very back and forth energy, very fickle, um, indecisive. There's indecision about something here, but you'll come to agree because the King of Swords represents things like agreeance, um, represents things like uh, tr the trusted word, um, but also opening up. It could even be a confession. The moon can be the subconscious. Cancer can be about the past. There might be a confession about the past or something that you've you've blocked off. Okay, you've 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 closed it off. You've tried to close it off, but it could resurface. I think it's more to do with either past thoughts or something that has happened in the past, rather than like an ex coming back in. For some of you, it, it could be someone coming back romantically that may or may not affect your relationship directly. However, I feel like you'll be open about it, which is good. So even if you are feeling this way or your person is feeling two of swords, at times you may feel shut off or you may feel like they've got their guard up um, or they're trying you know, to turn a blind eye to things. But eventually, I think there's an opening up. The two birds flocking together here, of course, and the king of swords knowing exactly what to say and exactly what to open up with because yeah because he feels like he can so this is openness so to go from the two of swords to the king of swords i mean this is a this is a good step in the right direction good step forward um especially with these words But this is about decision, and I think a, a communication is definitely improving here, which I love. Okay, I said all things all about communication here. Um, so seeing that improve is a good sign. Okay, talking talking more. Communication is changing, but in a favorable sense. And I think aggression or anger, 
or any sort of toxic behavior, it's reversed here. So you may go through a period where it's just a really, you know, a really intimate one where you're becoming closer, you're, you're bonding more. So I think your bond is changing and it's changing in a very, very strong way. Uh, changing in a very positive way, Taurus. Guiding you in your relationship in the right direction. The moon is, is, is a lot of emotion. So emotionally, whatever you're speaking about is, is actually really bonding you. So pay attention to the things that you're asking or your person is asking or what you're talking about because that's coming through fairly strongly. I will leave it at that though, Taurus. So thank you again so much for tuning 